What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about who you should six star next. And this is a question I see everywhere. Discord, Reddit, someone is always asking, who should I six star next? And it's not a straightforward answer. Um, it's a really difficult question, but what I'm gonna try and do is give you guys loads of information to try and help you, uh, well, information and advice to help you guys make the right decision on who you six star next. So the first question I always ask myself is, um, where do I need to progress? Where do I need help? And what champions do I have that can help me progress in that area of content? But let's sort of wind, wind it back and just go straight from the beginning. So if you've got a brand new account, the first thing you're gonna need is a campaign farmer. And all of the star champions can do this. So Kale, Aethel, um, El Hain, the green one, all of them can be used as a campaign farmer. So you wanna six star them as soon as possible. And because they're rares, they're really easy to um, book and ascend. So as soon as you can get to 12-3 with your starter champion, um, the faster you can get other champions to six star and you'll just progress so much faster and your account will just progress on another level. So that's what we wanna do. Then the next thing we wanna do is look at the dungeons. So we've got a campaign farmer, we're farming away, and then we wanna to start to progress in dragon. So dragon out of the four um, like dungeons that you'll be going spending most of your time in um, are Ice Golem, Spider, and Finite. So dragon's the easiest one, and it also gives really, really good gear, like accuracy, speed, and life steal. And then what we're gonna be doing is we want someone that ideally we want a healer and reviver that's going to keep the team alive and the aim of the game is to get to stage 20 on normal as fast as possible as soon as you get there we can start to get six star gear and five star gear and it's just going to progress your account way way quicker so yeah we want a healer and reviver that's going to keep the rest of the team alive if someone dies it's going to just pick them back up and they can keep going then the next champion, the third champion I'll be looking at would be an AoE drop defense champion. And there's a farmable rare called War Maiden who can do that. Again, easy to book, easy to ascend, and she will just help speed up your farming. And, you know, she's going to clear the waves a lot faster and help you with the boss as well. So those are like the three main champions we want to be, um, like the core the core three champions we want to um, sort of focus on first. So we're focusing on dragon. And then what I would do is focus on dragon and clan boss. So we're sort of going to go back and forth, back and forth. And obviously we start on easy and we want to try and get to ultra nightmare as fast as we can. But it's going to take you six months to about a year to get to ultra nightmare. But, you know, it just depends on the champions you pull. And as we're sort of progressing, you every time you want to ask yourself, can this champion help me in clan boss? Can they help me in dragon? If not, I wouldn't even, you know, they just go straight in the vault and I just carry on playing the game till I pull someone better that can help grow my roster. So let's say we've got a champion that we're using. They don't work in, um, we can't progress in clan boss any further at the moment. Can't progress in dragon but we've pulled a HP burner. Well, they are gonna be great for Spider. So they are gonna get priority and they are gonna get an instant six star. So how it works is Dragon is gonna be our priority. Then Ice Golem's probably the second easiest and then Spider and Finite. I'd say they're sort of both the same hardest. It just depends on what champions you pull. Like if you pull HP burner, Spider's just became a whole lot easier. If you've got Terminator Control or multi hears then finite has just become a whole lot easier. Um, but yeah, so I'd say these two are the easiest and then these two are the hardest. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of Ice Golem and because Ice Golem's changed now, um, you can get decent gear from here. Like even offense is actually pretty decent early on and defense and crit rate. These are all good sets early on in the game. And then we get Curse and Provoke and Reflex, which are way, way better later on in the game. 
So yeah, that's sort of how it works. You're just sort of working through the dungeons, trying to progress and just get to stage 20. So now let's go onto Hell Hades website and look at some of the, the login champions. And yeah, let's look at some of the login champions. So all I've done is type into Google Hell Hades login champion. And if we scroll down, um, the first champion is Hikatoon. She is amazing. Um, she's a turn beater champion, so she's going to make your team really fast. Um, great for arena and great for dungeons, especially dragon. So yeah, definitely worth investing in. And the other thing is with arena, you don't want to go hard on arena, but you do want to focus on it a little bit. And if you can posh, uh, posh, push into silver or gold, you know, you're going to get extra stat bonuses. You're going to progress great haul faster as well. So she is definitely worth investing in. Yaga, Trash, Dark Aethel, Trash, Dark Elhane. I would put her in the vault. Um, she is a great nuka and she's good for arena. However, you will probably have better options. So I would probably stick her in the vault. If not, then you, then yeah, definitely six star her. Yeah, so completely uh, skipped Lordly again, Trash Meister. Um, Seal of the Drakes, God tier. So I probably told this story a thousand times. Um, but when I first started the game, um, about six months when you get Seal of the Drakes, um, I was probably doing all four dungeons between stages 17 and 19. As soon as I got Seal of the Drakes, I could do all of them to level 20. And she just carried me so hard. So yeah, Seal of the Drakes is an instant six star. Uh, Tanix, she's a good champion, but again, I would put her in the vault. Um... She's great for Hydra, and but I think uh, when you when you get her, you're probably not going to be touching Hydra too much. Um, but if you can, great, go for it. Um, then Grush the Mangler, he's an insane healer. I would definitely be investing in him. He also brings um, a drop um, decrease. What is it? He decreases crit damage, which is a really rare ability, but a great, really, really strong one. So yeah. And decrease attack as well. And actually great for clan boss. So yeah, he's definitely getting a six star. And you can even use him in some of the Doom Tower bosses as well. So great champion. Vizix, absolute god tier. When you probably get her around this sort of time, you definitely want to invest in her. Save some legendary books for her. Um, I use her for Doom Tower hard. Every rotation, every floor for, uh, for waves. Um, so great. She brings utility. She brings uh, crowd control, a great champion. And again, she's just going to help you with progression. So yeah, she is a no-brainer, an instant six-star. Uh, Clea Patrix, I, I've never used her. I know she can be used as a new car for Hydra, but I just feel like she's very niche, quite trash in my opinion. Um, I'm not saying like, I personally, I wouldn't use her. She doesn't tick enough boxes for me. Sion, uh, Trash, Gerda, Awful, Lady Erash, Awful, Arix, very, very, very unique champion. Um, great for Live Arena and Tag Arena. I mean, you're going to be getting him around two years in. So um, I would probably, if you've got the right support champions around him, like tanky supports with great survivability, like Pytheon, like Duchess, um, healers, revivers, then I probably would use Arix. Otherwise, he'd sit in my vault. Uh, just another awful champion. And actually, the last champion we get. So, yeah, I, that's, that's pretty much how I'd work it. Um, and I guess the other thing you could always do as well is if we just go into Google type um, Hell Hades raid tier list. And tier lists are a great way to just look at champions so obviously here we can see these are all god tier champions uh, and you can see like the overall rating but then you know what are we focused on at the moment are we looking at clan boss or are we looking at dungeons and you know we could click on dungeons as well oh so if we click on here he actually gives you a breakdown of where they're good on every piece of content as well so you get like a more in-depth guide which is really really nice um, but yeah, so, you know, we're like, oh, well, actually, I want to focus on dungeons. Which champions are going to help me here? Um, and that's how you can sort of, that's how you look at it. And yeah, I don't think I can sort of 
give you guys any more advice than that really it's just looking at content the champions you have um trying to looking at champions that are going to tick as many boxes as possible and you don't want to duplicate champions so you know if you've got a god tier uh champion like nuka for arena then if you pull another god tier nuka you're probably not going to want to use them you want to diversify you want to try and clear as much content as you can as quickly as you can but i don't know if you guys have got any advice that you want to share as well please drop in the comments below i've been the real deal please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll catch you all in a video soon peace